Ipswich have been scattered across Ipswich backyards. How did this happen? Well, Darren, these batches are actually from hundreds of LED balloons released here from this park as part of New Year's Eve celebrations. They went skyward, but now the remnants are turning up in backyards right across the western suburbs. Council has accepted an apology from the event organisers over what is now a major health risk, and tonight they want every family in the area to check their backyards. Springfield's community celebration to ring in the new year. On sale, the perfect prop to party. Hundreds of balloons fitted with LED lights to glow against the night sky, released before midnight. Some of the balloons have actually gone sideways. Of course, what goes up must come down, and the remnants are landing in backyards. Burst balloons and three button batteries on each, potentially deadly to children or animals who put them in their mouths. Uh, I looked down from the front runner and noticed a little light flashing. As you can see, you can see the three little button batteries in there. A bit of a shock, especially considering the Hill family, with three children under nine, lives at Bavale. 60 kilometres from where the balloons launched. There's only a story not too long ago about a little kid dying from solar button batteries. On so many levels, this is so irresponsible. I can't believe they've done it. Neither can the organisers who run this free event every year. They say they're sorry for buying the balloons in the first place. But we won't be doing it again as well. So just to let the community know, be rest assured that we won't be doing the balloon release again. You can purchase these LED balloons in many stores, but they do come with a warning of what's inside that these small batteries are a potential hazard to young children. They were shipped in from Hong Kong and could be deadly if swallowed. Ipswich Council has officers on the case and is warning families to check their backyards. Let's stop whoever's producing the learners, the you know, tent people. They're dangerous and they've got to be stopped. Brittany Klein, Nine News. 60 year old.